everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! And today guys, it's England 1, Croatia nil. Cheese! Three points in the bag. England winning their first game, first match ever. First match ever after seven attempts in the European Championship. And now that this young boys, this young team has gone through and matured after a couple of matches, a couple of tournaments, I mean, it's nice to see that they have broken the deadlock and said to that record, you know what? Piss off, bro. That record can piss off, man. We are here to make history. And yes, they did. Finally breaking the curse. Congratulations to England. Congratulations to our nations. I'm so excited. Three points, you know. And I'm gonna get myself back into reality, you know, because I have to get back to life, back to reality. Yes, it is, guys. Back to reality. We did win, and it was. Remember that, guys. Croatia are a difficult team to beat, and Croatia having them for the first game. It is not easy and you know that was going to be a difficult game, difficult match against Croatia. And for England to pull through, congratulations. It just shows that we are coming through against a team that played in the World Cup final 2018 in the last tournament. You have to give kudos to England. Kudos. Big up to men like Calvin Phillips and Raheem Sterling. My G's, my boys, you know. And the irony of people booing when the guys were kneeling. And it happened to be a brother to stick it in their back four. And that's what I love. Lovely. Big up Ryan Sullivan for that. And let's go straight into the game, Gab. England starting off well with Phil Foden hitting the post. And by that time, I was like, woo, golden boy, star boy. Phil Foden doing his thing, hitting the post. From there, England looked quite good. We started off well, controlling the game, keeping up with the tempo, setting up the tempo, in fact. People like Calvin Phillips, Declan Rice, it was a beautiful double pivot. It's a type of double pivot that I wish Manchester United probably could have had, you know, that type of balance where Calvin Phillips is also a deep landing playmaker that can actually get forward and pass the ball and spray the ball, where Declan Rice can hold and also play and pass the ball. It was just beautiful to see, guys. It was emotional and it really set the standard for England's midfield to dominate against the Croatians in that first half. Nevertheless, Half time, nil nil. Yes, I'm thinking England can pull through in this game. We are dominating. We can do things. We can do bits against the Croatians. Man, what do we do all the time? We love going on holiday in Croatia, messing up places, skanking it up. Let them come here and let's show them what we do here. And we, yes, we did. Eventually, in that second half, Raheem Sterling scoring that goal with Calvin Phillips assisting. Beautiful play by Calvin Phillips going past one man and feeding it in calmly as well. Just smoothly, just giving it to Sterling like, yo, bro, here's the ball, bro. Score that. Finish that. And yes, he did. Ryan Sterling finishing that goal, scoring the first goal, making sure that England are one nil up. But from there, beautiful. The game was just oozing in terms of England controlling the game. You know, learning how to see out a game is very important. And England done that very well. And what made it even better is the fact that he introduced Jude Bellingham take off Harry Kane. And with Jude Bellingham, another midfielder that can keep the ball, tackle as well. England looked like, yes, the manager knows what to do in terms of seeing out the game. And I thought the substitution of, of Jude Bellingham was superb. Mark Stratford coming on again, doing what he does. <laughs> computer crashing that a couple of times, CPU, when he gets the ball. But he done his thing, you know. He wasn't really impactful. He wasn't. And with that, guys, England winning their first game 1-0 full time. So pleasing. So pleasing, guys. Ah, it just sets the standard to go on to win the next game. Against Scotland, yes, a nation rivalry right there. Scotland. We're coming for you and we will win against the Scottish guys. You guys let me know what you think of that. that. Man of the match, guys, to me, has to go to Calvin Phillips. He was a monster today. Getting the ball off players. Destroying and distributing the ball as well. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Assisting as well to Ryan Sterling. I just thought he was brilliant today. He deserved that man of the match, guys. Don't give the match, to be honest with you guys. It has to go down to Harry Kane. Least ineffective player today. I thought Harry Kane was the worst out of everyone else. Had, didn't have his best game. But I'm sure as the tournament goes along, he can get better. Guys, you let me know what you think about that. Guys, you let me know who was your man in the match. And also, who was your donkey of the match. England fans, let's take it one game at a time, guys. You know, three points today. If we beat Scotland, we go through to the next round. And from there, we can probably think, yeah, maybe we can start thinking about it progressing into the later stages of the tournament and then we can think about winning it right now we're singing is coming home too early slow your road jabroni you can't be singing that right now we gotta calm down tranquille mommy tranquille england fans you know uh, come to our my friends turn to our. but it is what it is guys it's just a brilliant start for us in our group I'm so happy, guys. Guys, you let me know what you thought of today's game as well. This has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice, the European Championship Special Euros 2020. Even though it's Euro 2021, but people don't want to let go. I see you, um, Wasika UEFA, don't want to lose their peace for bragging rights and also a license. They really want to stick to this, but yeah, it's it's 2022, it's 2020 right now. Yeah, let's let's keep it in there. You know, let's keep it in the mind, guys. As usual, guys, remember to follow my, the official Instagram account of Reggie Night TV, which is Reggie Night TV One, baby, and also the official TikTok account, which is Reggie Night TV. And remember to follow my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, and also across the Twitter and the Snapchat. Last but not least, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share, because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And as always, to my ladies, my ladies, as you watch me towards the end, remember to share the link to your ex-boyfriends. Remember to also share the link to your current boyfriend. Remember to share the link to that guy that always buys you lunch at work, hoping to get some, but he will never, ever, ever get any. As you chop his money and chop his food, you just look at him thinking, you're never going to get this, but I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy your pockets. Remember to follow, remember to share the link to that dickhead. And also remember to share the link to that guy from the chicken shop that's always been eyeing you up, wanting your number, always giving you a free chicken wing. Even though you don't even get chicken, you get a burger, but he throws it in there, asks for your number, but you know, out of you know pityness, you gave him your Snapchat, and he's happy with that. Telling his bedrooms, she gave me a Snapchat. But it is what it is, guys. As well, remember to share the link to your own, your dad's friends who's been looking at you up and down. Now that you have got this and got that, now that he's seen that you're grown, telling you my oh my, you have grown. And when you share that link, and it asks you what is this. Tell them you find a man that does it way better than you. And that's Ivor and Spice, guys. As always, guys, remember to keep yourself united. And remember to keep this England, as always. Remember to keep it red united. I'm out. Peace out. See you next time.